The most terrible poverty is loneliness and the feeling of being unloved, Mother Teresa. I told you to feed and take care of my children, right? I'm sorry, Mama. I can't move right now. I'm really ill. Don't call me Mama. You're not my child. Stop your stupid drama and do the house chores. When I was a little kid, I thought that Mrs. Thompson was my real mom. But as I grew up, I understood that their treatment of me was very different from the other children inside this house. When I found out that I was an orphan, I didn't go away. I stayed here because I had nowhere else to go. They never treated me like their own. They treated me as a maid, a peasant, and a slave. I do all the house and farm work, because if I don't, they will hurt me. They won't even let me sleep inside their home. The dirty stockroom became my room. When I'm down, all I do is read books. Books have saved my life from darkness. Stop that. Just go back inside the stockroom and rest. I wonder what happened to Mr. Thompson. I don't know why he suddenly became kind to me. It's already dark outside, and the cold air is freezing. I'm really sick and very hungry. Mr. Thompson opened the door and brought me a plate of food. I ate it, but I was shocked by what Mr. Thompson did next. He touched me and forced me to have something sexual with him. <laughs> My poor and weak body could not move, so I shouted very loud. Help! Somebody please help me! His wife entered the room, and she saw her husband sexually harassing me. I thought that Mrs. Thompson would defend and protect me, but that's not what happened. Stay away from my husband, you fucking whore. I can't take it anymore, so even though it's very cold outside and my body is really weak, I forced myself to walk away. While walking in the middle of the dark, I lost consciousness and fell into the thick snow on the ground. 